In the face of St. Lucia's ongoing battle with crime, many individuals have united to condemn the spread of violence that has infested our society, primarily among the youth. One such human rights activist, Aaron Alexander, former deputy leader of the NGP, believes the civil unrest is as a result of unneeded aggression in our community, triggered by simple issues such as disrespect. We must have more foot soldiers, foot soldiers on the ground to patrol, because the very sense that people will see that, you know what, there are police patrols in an area, that could deter them from, from committing crime. So we need to look at all these avenues. We need to ensure that our police are equipped, yes, with the necessary tools that they need, because whatever tools you have in the, in the toolbox to throw at crime, we have to throw everything we have at crime. This crime has to stop, these murders every day, one or two murders, this thing has to stop in our country. And when you look at the root causes of these things, it's just senseless killings, you know, petty disrespect among people. Disrespect causes a lot of things. Guys have guys things that they, not, they don't want to give it over. People owing people that they don't want to pay. Years passing, they're papi showing you, they're playing you no mind. People coming at your home, rent your vehicles, go and write it off, and they don't want to pay the excess for the insurance to cover the, the, the damage. And I'm talking from personal experience with that one. So there's a lot of disrespect going on in the society. That is what is fueling a lot of our crime. Yes, there's a lot of revenge killing, but when you check it, where it really coming from, and when you go down the line, you'd, you'd simply find probably it's just a simple matter of a disrespect that happened some years ago. Alexander explains for a difference to emerge, we must make a societal change and educate our children on the precious meaning of life. So I want to condemn in the strongest way possible all this crime that is happening. My youth, the youth of this nation, you all are killing each other, you all are putting this country into a bloodbath. You all need to stop, you all need to check and, and look at the value of life. Our education system also needs serious revamping to make our children know who they are, have a greater sense of identity. Let them see where this crime is coming from. Back in the days of slavery, they, they used to pit brother against brother for entertainment purposes. Have two brothers fight to the death for entertainment purposes. So we need to know where these things are coming from. We, know, we need to know who benefits from crime. We, know who, we need to know the people who are, are fueling the crime in the country. And we have to take a serious stance. So for my part, I want to condemn this crime wave that, that is going on in this country. I want to call on our youth to... I, I, I will not um, want to join the chorus about putting down the guns, but I want to tell the youth and them, forget the guns. The guns are not the answers to your problems. Furthermore, the human rights activist urges government officials to heed the advice given by citizens. We are not manufacturing guns in St. Lucia yet. Every household seems to have a gun. At the rate we go in there, it seems like everybody have a gun. So something is terribly wrong in our society. And as I said earlier, I applaud and I appreciate what the government has done thus far. But a lot more needs to be done. The society, the, the citizenry, we are, we are um, proposing things. We are coming up with suggestions. The government would do good to listen to the voices of the people and ensure that some of the things that they, they speak of, they try their best to implement it. You know, there are things like offering rewards for information on, on crime. You know, the gun amnesty. You know, there are things that we can do still in our toolbox for us to fight crime. So I'm hoping that the government will listen and they will ensure that they do what they have to do because we cannot continue that way. And I want to encourage the police to have more patrols, whether it be in the city, whether it be in the other hotspots as well. There should be more police patrol because the police have more vehicles now. So the police presence should be felt everywhere as much as possible. Human rights activists such as Aaron Alexander have united to assist St. Lucia as the island grapples with the rise in crime. The activist believes that for this culture of violence to change, there must be a societal shift. For Choice News Now, this is Obi Offer reporting.